<laughs> he really said I was cute? Yeah, he said that once the isolation's done with, well, he's gonna ask you out. No way. Are you serious? I am dead serious. Do you think your mama lets you go on a date, though? I mean, we all only, well, 15. Of course mama let me go on a date. I don't know. Your mom's not like other moms. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just, um, you know, your mom's really strict. She's not that strict. She just wants what's best for us. <laughs> Look, um, I have to go, okay? Alright, call me tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh no, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I'm just watching something on YouTube. What are you watching? Old American Idol videos when Simon Cowell was doing it. Oh, God, he was a jerk. No, it's what makes it funny. I mean, I won't, but I do wonder if I would have been able to handle him if I auditioned for American Idol. To be honest, I don't think you would have. You probably would have had a fit on national television. Really? You really think that about me? I don't think. I know that about you. I mean, I know you get angry when you don't get your way. So that's what you think about me? Look, I don't mean it offensively or anything. It's just, you know, I, I know who you, I know you. We, we're sisters. I know you. How are you, and you get mad at me when you don't get your way. How are you going to act if Simon was away? Well, I guess it doesn't matter because this tape was back in 2002 so it's not like it's not like I would have to deal with him anyway what if you auditioned for America's Got Talent he's on there you wouldn't handle that that either I mean you probably would pretend to fall off the stage so it'd be so it'd feel bad for you yeah thanks for your honesty no problem why do you look so upset? I'm not upset. I'm just gonna go watch TV. Mom's in there. So I'll watch TV with mom. What's the big deal? Are you mad at me? If you don't know if I'm mad at you or even why I'm mad at you, then you don't know me. See you later. Jeez, what I do? Well, I guess she doesn't want to go on the laptop anymore. I might as well go on it and <laughs> watch these American Idol videos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. What's wrong? I was in this room for like less than two seconds. How do you know something's wrong? There is something wrong, isn't there? <sighs> yeah. Well, have a seat and we'll talk about it. There's nothing to talk about, Mom. Just have a seat and let's talk about it. Fine, if it will shut you up, then we'll talk about it. Now, let me turn Netflix off. <clears throat> now, tell me what's wrong. Mia said something that really hurt my feelings. Well, what did she say, honey? I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of it. Well, honey, if it's hurting you the way that you say it is, it is a big deal. Tell me what happened. Well, I was watching some old American Idol videos when Simon Cowell was on there and I kept laughing saying and I told I told um Mia I wonder if I would have been able to handle him and she goes well you would have had a tantrum on national television and then I'm like well I'm glad I don't have to deal with him then and she go and my sister goes oh well he does America's Got Talent you wouldn't be able to handle him there either you'd probably pretend to fall off the stage or something she said that to you yeah, she knows how important singing is to me. Just as much as important as sewing and cooking is for her. And I never make fun of her about that. I know you don't, honey. Would you like me to talk to her? I don't care. Do what you think is best. I just, I'm just very hurt by what she said. I don't blame you. I would have been hurt, too. I will have a talk with her. You just sit here and watch TV. We'll fix this. Thanks, Mom.
though I don't think I'll be able to concentrate. <laughs> wow, Mia may not be a great singer, but she was right about these videos. Oh my God, it's so funny. Come in. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Mom. What's up? Can you put the laptop away? I need to have a serious talk with you. Okay. Okay, what, what is it? Your sister's very hurt by what you said. What did I say? I was hoping you would know. Well, no, I don't really know. I mean, I know she came, I know she walked out of the room saying I heard her, but I don't know what I said that was so bad. She was upset about how you told her that she wouldn't be able to deal with Simon if she tried out for American Idol. And then when she mentioned that Simon didn't do American Idol, you said he does America's Got Talent and, you wouldn't, and she wouldn't handle that either. I was only joking around. Honey, you girls are 16 now. Well, we're almost 16. Not there yet. Will you be serious about this? She's very hurt by what you said. You girls aren't kids anymore. What you say to each other matters a lot. I guess I was kind of being mean. I didn't mean to be mean. It's just, I was just kidding around. I didn't mean anything but. Well, don't tell me. Tell your sister. Okay, bring her in here. Gosh, I didn't even mean to hurt my sister. Hey. Hey. Can we talk? Well, Mom sent me in here, so I guess I don't have much of a choice. It's not like we can go outside because of stupid isolation. Look, I'm frustrated about it, too. Have a seat. I really want to talk to you. Listen, I owe you an apology. For what? Mom told me that I hurt your feelings about what I said about you auditioning for American Idol or America's Got Talent or whatever. And I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Well, if Mom didn't talk to you about it, would you be sorry anyway? I would have caught on that I hurt you eventually. It really did hurt me what you said. It's always been my dream to go on those shows. And even though it's probably not going to happen, who says it's not going to happen? You did. Oh. Look, you know I like your singing. Yeah, but you didn't have to make fun of it. You didn't have to say, oh, you wouldn't be able to handle these people. You'd have a tantrum on national tele. That, that wasn't funny. I'm sorry. I was just trying to be funny. Well, it wasn't. It really hurt. I may have my issues, but that's what they are, issues. It's not something I do purposely. I know. And I should have realized that, and I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted to do was hurt you. I guess I, you guess what? I guess I'm feeling a little hurt too. What are you feeling hurt? What did I say? Not you. I was talking to my friend Naomi earlier and she said that this guy liked me and I said maybe we can go on a date when isolation's over and she had said your mom is so strict she won't let you do anything. Well, what did that affect mom? Why does it affect you? Because I'm the one she told it to. And I don't know how to tell mom about that. Well, don't tell mom. I'm sure I, I definitely know what it's like to have their feelings hurt. I wouldn't want mom to go through the same thing. Or even you to go through the same thing. <sighs> Nia, it's Mia. You're Nia. <laughs> I'm just trying to be funny. Well, you're not. Listen, um, I really am sorry I hurt you. Okay, can you forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you. But I'm still not ready for things to be back to normal between us. Because even saying sorry, it doesn't take the hurt away. At least not right away. I understand. I'll give you a space. I'm gonna go watch TV. 
I don't blame you for hating me. Then I'll watch TV. Neil, wait. I don't hate you. You're my sister and I love you. I'm just upset with you right now. But that doesn't mean I'm ever going to forgive you. And it doesn't mean that we're not sisters. And it doesn't mean I don't love you. Thanks. Where's the laptop? I'll see how critical he is on America's Got Talent. It's got to be warmed up a little bit. Ha, 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 ha.